Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Tanika. Good morning, she's coming, she's in the restroom. All right, no problem, no problem. How you doing, mama? Pretty good. All right, awesome. Project ready, my milk project on. End of the week. Nobody else is going yet. Tanika, good morning. Hey, Rafael. Good morning, Mr. Iqbal. How are you this morning? Good. How are you feeling? I'm good. Uh, we had more snow overnight. <laughs> oh, that's Did amazing. You Can you show us the snow? I sent you a video uh, to your um, WhatsApp yesterday. Oh, okay. I want you to I want you to see it because okay. it's coming down snow after we spoke, and so if you could hear all the birds out in the trees. Wow. But the snow is gone now because the sun came out. But it's been snowing for the past four days. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
All right, let me see if I can share. Hold on. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me. 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 Thank you Hi, Talika. Good morning, Miss Big Bar. Good morning, Miss Lotte. How Good are you doing? Morning, Miss Lotte. I'm excited for my projects. I got two of them. All right. I'm excited. We're gonna do a Tanika. We're gonna do a lava lamp project, and we're gonna do something called cornstarch goo. Wow. Oh. So I, uh, I don't know if this is. Is this fun to forget? But the thing is, with the cornstarch, you cannot pour that down the zinc because it will. Harden up your um your pipe, and they will have to come up and they uh, hack the pipes off just to fix it. Yeah, it's like really, really hard. So it's fun to play with. I played with it last night, <laughs> but uh, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show them how to do the uh, how to make it. Ain't, it's so easy. It's just cornstarch and water. It's so easy. That's I can't awesome. wait. To cool. Well, today I have a different activity. And it's called opposites. Ooh, opposites. So Ooh. I have a board. Oh, wow. okay. See the opposites, Bella? Up, down, in, out. Put your, get your leg off the table before you fall. So we can learn about positional, <laughs> positional words. Ooh. That's my wow. new activity for today. All right. Got my home t-shirt on for being at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Tay, you gonna stretch us out? Huh? Stretch, it, <clears throat> stretch us out this morning? Oh, oh, of course. That is fine with me. Of course. Oh. Everybody stay on your feet? Yeah. Everybody stay on your feet. You want to help me? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody stand right here, Bella. Everybody raise their arms up high. Everybody stretch to the window. Stretch to the window. Stretch to your window. Everybody stretch to your door. To your door. Everybody stretch to the ceiling. Stretch to the ceiling. Everybody. Everybody stretch to the floor. To the floor. To the floor. Get out. To the floor. Morning, Michelle. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, uh, Michelle. Good morning, Bella. Is that Bella? Yeah, that's Bella over here eating the orange and well, a tangerine and drinking her juice. She asked for juice early in the morning. Okay. <laughs> she woke me up. I want juice. I want juice. Igbar speaking to you. You want to say Igbar? You want to say Igbar? Hey, hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. Hey, Bella. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Lucy. 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 Good morning, Good morning, Bella. Good morning, how are you? You say? Good job, Bella. Let's, let's do Miss uh, let's do uh, Tanika, then we'll do Miss Shay, son. Right? Good morning, Tanika. Good morning, Tanika. Good morning, Tanika. How are you? You, you say? <laughs> Nika, you gonna say? Good morning, Tanika. Good morning. How Tanika. are you? You say? You say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to chew like you. Good job. Right. Let's do the shake right. right. now. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Taylor. Good morning. Good morning. Taylor. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the I'm fine. 
I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Good job, Taylor. Good job, Michelle. Appreciate that. So today is Friday, y'all. Today is an amazing day. We have some really good cool day. Y'all, yeah. Let's go ahead and do Miss Shay's project first. Y'all ready? Miss Shay, okay. Let's go. Mommy, what day did she say? She said experiment day. Experiment day, yeah. That's what I say. So this is what I have. This is my first experiment. Okay. I want to take a penny out of my daughter's tea bank. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> a good so brother, huh? Two pennies. Two pennies. Boy, give me one. Can I have one? Mm -hmm. Can I me one? Okay, so I'm going to put the... I have a bowl. Okay. And I'm going to take my paper towel and put it inside the bowl with my two pennies. And I have my white vinegar. So I'm going to open this white vinegar and I'm going to pour it on these two brown pennies and it's going to it's supposed to turn green so let's see Ooh. did you wear my bowl? <laughs> so it's supposed to stick for about 15 minutes. Okay. Oh. That's good. You want to, so, okay. So for 15 minutes, we're going to let it sit. Okay, we're going to let it sit. And we're going to check it back in 15 minutes and see if these two brown pennies turn green. Okay, what's the reason they turn green, though, Miss Shay? Do you know what? Two brown pennies. That's just called yeah. chemical yeah. reaction. Chemical reaction. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Miss so, so Shay, she took two brown pennies and some vinegar? Yeah, some white, uh, some white vinegar, just oh, still white vinegar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, Tanika, when you finish the class, we can do it. Tanika, come on. You got some more stuff. So she said it's a chemical reaction. So the chemical reaction is going to make it turn green in about 15 minutes. Okay. That's good to know. So we learned Yeah, something. so we're going to find out what color it turns in about. I want to let the bowl sit over here. Okay. Cool. All right. Excellent. Excellent. I know Miss Latay is ready. You want to do Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, so a part of my project, we're going to have to go in the dark, okay? Dark. I'm scared of the dark, though, Miss Latay. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's only going to be fun a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay, so okay. what we're going to do today is we're going to do a, a lava lamp. A lava lamp. Oh. Wow. So I have my Mom, clear water do a lava lamp. Lamp. Mm. And I have my food, blue food coloring with water. Okay. And I have some vegetable I mean, oil. Food coloring and we have to use Alka Salsa tablets. So these are my Alka Salsa tablets. Okay. And I use blue food coloring. Uh huh. So what I'm going to do first is, excuse me, let me sit this down so everybody can see. Okay. Can everybody see? Yeah, we can see, Mr. Tate. Okay. I just want to make sure everybody can see. Okay. Ready, so first, yeah. we got our water bottle, and we're going to fill it up with the water mixed with the, okay. the blue food coloring. Whoa, I really can't wait to see that. And I, I'm looking forward to it, Tanika. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> matter how much you pour in there. You can pour in a little. You can pour in a lot. So I just okay. do about that much, not too much. Pour water up. Okay. okay. And this is my vegetable oil. Now you got you have to be very careful because this is really oily. Okay. And I don't need to add anything to my vegetable oil. Just regular vegetable oil. Okay. All right. So it will look like this. So see, as you can see, water and oil, they can't mix and they don't mix. Right. So this is why this is a cool experiment. Okay, how come oil and water doesn't mix, Miss uh, Shea, Miss Latay? Uh, oil is very thick. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a thick consistency okay. and water is very thin, so there it doesn't go. really mix okay. well with so, each other. So some people say that uh, water is heavier than the oil. So whenever you put... Really? Yeah, oil always comes to the top. You see how the water's on the oh, bottom, wow. the oil's on top. Yeah, even if you shake it up, I think it's gonna go back. Can you shake it up a little bit? Let's see what happens. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Trick? A little bit of shake? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. 
Okay. This yeah, yeah. yeah. It still looks good. Okay, good job. All right, Mr. Tay. What's next on our project, Mr. Tay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have two Elka Seltzer tablets. Okay. I'm going okay. to crush them up so they can fit inside the bowl, and we're going to go into the dark. And I'm going to use my other phone. I'm going to use the flashlight. And I'm going to show you guys this cool lava lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's okay, you guys bear with me for a second, please. We got you, Mr. Tay. Doing an excellent job, Mr. Tay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at Tanika. You got Miss Onika running. <laughs> Watch the show, dude. After we finish it, we can do it. You can do it. You can do it with mom. All right, look. All right, I'm about to turn my camera around. I'm going to show it's you dark. guys. You're not yeah, scared. it's dark. So look. Oh wow. Okay. That so that's my uh, experiment. That's amazing. That's really cool. <laughs> that is. I wish cool. Can do it. it hasn't even started yet, y'all. The experiment's about to start now. Watch yeah, it's about to start. It, um, you could do this all day. You could put as many. I'm putting one in one. So I have to wait until it hits the bottom till it okay. starts to activate. Wow. You guys oh, see that? I see the bubbles. You see the bubbles? Like bubble? too, man. Oh, God. I can see the bubbles. That is bubble? so neat. That's really cool. Yeah, that is. Yeah, so this is, I know kids nowadays they don't know really what a lava lamp is. Yeah. <laughs> and they haven't seen it. They're probably like, what is this? So this is basically the form of a lava lamp. That's a great experiment. Yeah. I did another one last night just to see if it worked well and it did. Uh, so. Okay, okay. That is Good amazing. Job. Wow, that is. And it actually went a lot better with the light. <laughs> Oh, really? And that actually, you don't have to add food coloring in there if you don't want to, because it'll actually look yellow. Okay. Oh, okay. It looks cool with the food yeah. coloring. Yeah, it looks better with the food coloring, it does. Yeah, I like that blue. Cool. So that's my experience. One of my experiments. You put in two alka or one alka I put in two of them, because I like the way it sizzles. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. I like the way it looks. Y'all see it's so I put in Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, right. sorry about that, Miss Latte. No, 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 it's my fault. I ain't on the phone too long. Okay, yeah, I'll clean yeah. it up. It's fine. <laughs> okay, what about this? But that's my experience. Okay, definitely, definitely. Let's do, let's go ahead and do some. Uh, we're gonna take a break from the uh experiments. We're gonna have Miss uh Miss Raquel do her Spanish numbers, and then we'll go ahead and check back on the uh pennies, and then I'll do my experiment. So we'll give Miss Latte a chance to clean up real quick. You wanna clean that up? Oh, thank you. <laughs> We'll take care of that real quick, Mr. Tate. Thank you. Renata coming home and they got blue people yeah. off the wall, you know? Yeah, go take care of that. What happened? Mr. Keith, today I want to do a different project. Even better. I love projects. Okay. Oh, yeah. Today we're going to learn positional words. Positional words. <laughs> okay. And these words tell us where we are. Okay. Where things are, what we're doing. Okay. So the first one is we have two children at the park at the seat box. Can okay. somebody tell me which one is up and which one is down? So which one is up and which one is down? Boy up or a girl up? Girl is up. Up and the boy is down. Okay. So now we have a new picture, and this is a doggy, and the dog is jumping over a hurdle. Now, when he's jumping above below on the ground is a caterpillar. Help! Where is the dog? Is he below or is he above? He's the dog. Tanika, where's the dog? And what is he doing, Tanika? He's jumping over the hurdle. What's the dog doing? He's jumping over the hurdle. Is he above or is he below? Good. Above, the caterpillar is below. 
Now we have two friends that are camping. Our friends are camping. One of them is inside the tent, and the other one is outside the tent. So what, what are these two positional words? Inside, outside. Inside, outside. Okay. Now we have two of our friends, and over here, they're playing with their cats. Now, one of our friends has a string and she's holding it over the cat. So, is the dog below the string? Under it. So, you have over and under. No! Over and under. No, no. Which one is it, Bella? Is it over or under, Bella? <laughs> So here's the cat. Here's our friends playing with the cat. And our friend has a string and she's holding it over the cat. So now we have two different words over and under. All right, Bella, say like over. Hand, over. Uh, over. And under. Under. Okay. Over and under. Good job. And the other one that we put is inside, outside. Outside. Inside, outside. Outside. Okay. And the other word we learned today above. Above. And below. And below. Above and below. And below. Uh, so, all right, cool. And the last ones we learned today were up. Can you say that? Up. Up. Down. Up, down. down. And down. Up. Down. Up. Up, down. down. Up, up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Inside, outside. outside. Over, Over, under. under. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Good okay. job. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Raquel. Ms. Raquel, you want to go over the Spanish numbers on our fingers real quick? Yes. Are we ready? We're ready. We're Let's ready. Everybody's fingers. Big, big. One, uno. Yes. Uno. Dos. One. Dos. Two. Tres. Tres. Three. Cuatro. Cuatro. Four. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. 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 Six. Siete. 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 Seis. Ocho. Ocho. Seis. Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Nine. 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 Diez. 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 Ten. 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 So how many fingers do we have? Yes. 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 We had a red, what do we have? We had a red uh, wind chime outside. We had a red, red wind chime outside. Uh, hold on, what's that called? We start, hold on, wait, one second. Shay, is the penny ready for us to check on or not yet? No, not yet. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Go so back to my story, y'all. We had a red wind chime outside, and Iqbal was sitting there watching the wind chime outside, and the hummingbird came, and he started poking the uh, red wind chime. And he was like, man, yep. why are you oh, Aziz, let me mute everybody. Probably okay. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. So this is the uh, I mean, yesterday, well, the other day, Iqbal was outside. When Iqbal was outside, he was uh, watching a hummingbird come, and the hummingbird was poking at a red wind chime outside. 
So a wind chime is something that you put in the wind and then it, it, it has a long tubes around it. Every time the wind comes, it hits it and it makes a beautiful sound. At Children's College, we had some wind chimes, but it didn't sound as beautiful as this one. So then Iqbal said, you know what? Maybe the hummingbird was hungry. So what he did was he went and bought a hummingbird feeder. Look what a hummingbird looks like, y'all. It's such a pretty bird. And do y'all see his beak? What's different about this person, the hummingbird's beak, than other people's beak? His beak is so long. So when he eats so long, he doesn't eat regular uh, uh, seeds and stuff. Like, he eats nectar. So the, what's that called? They have small little holes in here that are going to put the nectar there when he puts his beak inside to get it. And he's going to stand right here, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some hummingbird food, y'all. So hummingbird food is this jar right here. This says it's a hummingbird food, and it has, it has hummingbird food, and it has all the nutrients that it has inside of it. But this is concentrated. So when something is concentrated, you, 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 it's too strong to drink it by itself. So what the, what the jar says, the jar says in order to mix this, you have to do three parts water to one part hummingbird food, y'all. So what I'm going to take is I have my bottle of uh, my jar of water right here. I have my cup right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour one cup of water, three cups of water into this uh, hummingbird food. So let me go ahead and start. One, two, last one, three. So we got three parts of water, y'all. I'm gonna put a little extra just to be sure because you never know, maybe it might be too strong. So I put a little extra. In. Okay, I'm going to take my water and put it to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, cup, and I'm going to fill it up with some hummingbird food, y'all. So it says you went, and whenever you have a, a bottle like this, first thing you want, there's three things you got to do. First thing, you want to make sure it's nice and tight. So I touch it, it's nice and tight, it's not going to spit. Then you got to shake it up, shake it up. You know how Miss how Miss, uh, Miss Latay says, y'all shake it out, shake it out. So same thing with the bottle, y'all got to shake it out. Shake it out, okay? After we've done shaking it out, now I'm going to go ahead and turn the bottle open. I'm going to open the bottle. And then after we do with any kind of chemicals or any kind of food, y'all, what's that called? I wash my hands before I come here. After I finish making the hummingbird uh, bird feeder, I want to, we got to go ahead and, uh, uh, what's that called? Wash our hands afterwards. So I'm not going to take the whole top off. I'm just going to take a little bit off so we can, we can uh, put it back down. So I'm going to go ahead and just start pouring this thing up and filling this cup up. And while I'm pouring this, I want to go ahead and say thank you, Iqbal, for this amazing hummingbird uh, experience. The kids are really going to enjoy this. So I, I put it all the way to the top. Then I okay, you're welcome. I took it right here, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, what's that called? Pour it in here. What color did it make the water turn, y'all? Yeah, red. Red. Come on, red. Okay. Now, they have a little bit of stuff on the bottom. I'm going to rinse the rest of that bottle. What's that called? Stuff out. So I'm going to rinse it out like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in all the way up. So that's done, y'all. And then after you finish, that, always put the top back on your stuff, y'all. You don't know when it's going to spill or when something might happen. So put the top back on my stuff right what? there. And then, let's see, y'all. I'm thinking about going ahead and uh, pouring this inside what? that uh, inside the thing, y'all. Should I go ahead and pour this inside the thing so we can take it outside? Yeah. Let's try to figure out. Okay, I gotta turn it the other way. Okay, let's go. Let's go now. There you go. Okay, so it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's like a screw top, I think, y'all. Or maybe a pull top. No, a pull top, y'all. Wow, it's upside down. Okay, so this part goes in here like this. Okay, I see what's going on now, Mister Iqbal. This part is upside down. So we put that just the way it is right there. We gotta flip this upside down and we gotta unscrew the bottom, the top part, where they're gonna stand. And that makes sense because there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, food underneath it. So we gotta make sure we turn it. So I'm gonna take it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in there. Oh, I think it's for real. Okay. Perfect, y'all. So it's not it's not filled up to the top, but you never want to fill stuff up to the top just in case it might spill, y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing right here. I'm gonna screw it back on. Now I'm gonna flip it back on when I walk outside, y'all. So right now I'm just gonna keep it up top like this. And then what's that call them uh flip it over? So then they got a little thing you can hang it from. So as soon as I flip it over, I think it's gonna come out. 
and I don't want it to come out all over my floor when we have an accident, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it just like this before we go flip it out outside, y'all. And then hopefully, what's that called? Next time on Monday when we come, we'll have some hummingbirds visited this. And Mr. Iqbal will take some pictures or videos so we can share how the hummingbirds eat from this thing, y'all. So as soon as I go outside, I'm going to flip it over like this and hang it up real quick, y'all. So that is my project, y'all. What do y'all think about the project, man? That was cool. Okay, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. You like it? Taylor? Okay, I appreciate that, y'all. Good job. <laughs> okay, y'all. Hey, all right, uh, what's that called, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Iqbal? You want to read a story time right now? Or you want to let Mr. Taylor do a next project? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So let me share my screen and let me see how to do this. Give me one minute. All right. Can everyone hear me? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Awesome. So today, because Raquel is living in New York, she showed us that it's snowing right now so i'm gonna do a short book called the snowy day how does that sound good that sounds wonderful all right that sounds good the snowy day all right everyone sees the book yes yes all right Ooh, that looks fun The Snowy Day Can you all hear it? No. Okay, no. all right, okay, all right. No. Hold on. no, I can't hear it. You can't hear it? Okay, all right. Give me one minute. All right. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out of the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to the tracks. and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, flop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels.
he pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow, and he slid all the way down. And slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another, and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friends from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. That was a nice story. All right, you like the story? Yes. All right. Hey, Paul, did you, can you show us the video of the snow by Miss Raquel? Miss Raquel is living in New York right now, y'all. When Miss Raquel living in New York, it snowed yesterday. As soon as she wow. came out, it snowed. Yeah. That's cool. And you know, That's what, awesome. what was so amazing is that I live two hours and 20 minutes from the Canadian border. And so our, we have our own um, weather so, patterns here, different from other places in New York, down south in New York City. We get very cold air up here. And even in the spring, we've been having snow every day Thank you. for the past four days. Wow. It snowed wow. this morning. This morning we had a blanket of snow everywhere, but the sun came out and it's gone now. So it wow. melted the snow. It melted the snow. So yesterday when we were when we were online, I looked outside and all of a sudden it started snowing a lot. And I thought, let me capture this because I went outside and it's snowing, but all the birds are chirping. Wow. Oh. Such an amazing contrast because it's snowing and all the birds are singing everywhere. Yeah. Wow. That's it's amazing. Snow. And I have I have a house guest wow. who lives under our front door okay. on under the steps and it's a chipmunk. Oh wow. So that chipmunk lives under the stairs all winter long. Okay. But the minute spring arrives, it starts running around the house. <laughs> counterclockwise, I keep watching it and it's just counterclockwise. So I'm trying to take a picture so that I can Thank send you. it to you guys. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd love to see a chipmunk. I've seen yes. a chipmunk before. It's so either. small. It's very small. It looks okay. like a small squirrel. Okay. But it's brown. It's like a golden brown, and it has like a a, a different white color from it's the back of its. Oh, neck. just like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin had yeah. a white one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. China but he's those so movies. fast, I can't get a picture. Oh, so chipmunks are really fast in real life Very too. Very huh? fast. Okay. That's we really have cool. a lot of green 
uh -huh. areas up here. Yeah. And we have a lot of nature centers. Okay. And so we have lots of trees that attract birds. Okay. So come winter time, you have all different types of birds. Right. And then come the spring, you see other birds migrating to this area. Cool. By cool. four o'clock in the morning, you have a cacophony of birds chirping at four in the morning. Now, is the sun coming up at four in the morning or not? Actually, like no. But by five, by four thirty-five, it starts getting light up here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks so much, Ms. Raquel. So hopefully, we're going to yeah. see a picture of a chipmunk and some snow soon, y'all. Yes. So, just like okay. so I got something that looks like snow, y'all, but it's not really snow. Okay. So, I'm going to do my project. Ms. Latay knows about this project. It's called Magic Milk. So, I have some okay. milk right here. Y'all see this milk right here, huh? Okay. So I got milk in the container, and I'm going to put some different color food drops. So, well, what color is this? Y'all know what color this food color is? Tanika, this is your favorite color, Tanika? Hey, that's your favorite color. Is, is that purple or blue? That's blue. blue. Oh, okay, blue. Wow. I'm going to put blue. So I'm Hello. Put Let's put a drop, y'all. Let me put some drop. Stop. Four. Four. Five. Five drops of blue. All right, then I'm gonna put the blue to the next, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my green. So I'm gonna oh. grab my. So this is milk, y'all. So I put milk in the bottom of a saucepan. Now let me take my. Uh, now you gotta be careful because when you move it, it's making the, uh, the dots. Let me move. One green dot. Three, four, five. Okay, and I got my green dots in there, y'all. Let me go ahead and grab the next one, y'all. It's some people's favorite color, like bananas, y'all. Tell me some of some yellow things in life. Anybody knows anything else that's yellow? A lemon. Lemon's yellow. What about you, Tanika? What else is yellow? Lemon. Lemon, you right. Banana. Banana, okay. Sunflower. 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 Yeah. Okay. And then the last one is I'm going to go with the color red, y'all. Y'all see the color red? Tell me a little bit of some things that are red, y'all. I'm gonna go with an apple. Apple, yeah. Ooh, right. I love that. <clears throat> what about what about that 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 strawberry? Yeah, strawberries, that's good. Strawberries. And what about the hummingbird food? The hummingbird food was red too, right? Oh yes. yes. Okay. Y'all see all my dots? Y'all see all my dots? Okay. I got my dots in here. Next thing we're gonna have is Tanika, you're around. I want to show you Tanika. This is some uh come take a look, Nick. Come take a look. So I put the dots inside the uh, milk. After I put the dots inside the milk, I buy my yellow dots, my red dots, my green dots of food coloring, and my blue dots. Now I'm taking some soap, y'all. And I also have this, y'all. Anybody know what this is? That's a wow. They call this a Q-tip. You can put some. You can put makeup on with this. You can clean your ear out with this. You can do a whole bunch of things with this. So I'm gonna take my Q-tip and I'm gonna put just a little bit of Q-tip. Oh, Ty, Ty, Taylor knows about Q-tips? Yes, he does. His dad used them all the time. <laughs> okay, cool. So I got a little bit on my thing. You think that's enough? Y'all think I should add some more? Add some more. Add some. So Ms. Shay says add a little bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Let's add some more. I'm going to dump it up top. Mm -hmm. right oh, it's coming. Oh, you see what happened? It started moving, y'all. Oh, it fell. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's once so it falls, it starts moving. Stand up. It goes around. And then you can put different shapes in it. You see that? So many different shapes in it. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, I like the color. Magic milk, y'all. So the magic milk, we can do so many. And then look at the uh, the, the Q-tip, y'all. Q-tip has so many different colors in it, y'all. So it is its surface tension. Once you have that uh, thing on it, Miss Miss Latay had a Miss uh, Shay had a chemical reaction, right? Yes. So many different colors is coming, right? Yeah. Slowly. I'm telling y'all, you just keep on turning. You have different colors, make a design. They want to make a design going this way, y'all. But that's what they think. So yeah, so all the different colors, they're, they're in here, but they're still separate. You see how the yellow is a little bit on this side? Uh -huh. have green a little bit on this side, blue a little bit on this side, y'all. So yeah, so, so, boom, we just keep on doing it. Do anything else you want. So the reason this happens is because of the, uh, what's that called? Surface tension. Yeah. 
a couple of days ago, we had a, a project where I put an airplane, a fish, inside of a boat. I put a drop of soap in it. And the soap is supposed to make it uh, take off. So it's the same concept, y'all. Yeah? What happens is that the uh, soap is on top. So as soon as the soap touches it, it spreads out. Same thing like Miss uh, Miss Mate's uh, uh, oil and uh, water. She took the oil and water, she shook it up, the oil was still on top. So that's the same thing, y'all. Yeah? The oil is the <laughs> it's on top and it makes it happen like that, y'all. Yeah? Oh. Y'all have any questions? Any questions? You know what's a good project? Yes, ma'am. In Turkey, when I visited, I saw them doing this technique huh? to, Hello. and then putting paper, oh. sheets of paper under it. Hey. And absorb the color hey. and bring it out and then Good. hang it to dry. Oh, nice. So that it absorbs all the different colors and shapes that it takes in the water. Okay, amazing, amazing. So you can do that with paper. Oh, we'll do that. Then right right paper. Okay. Thank you, Miss Raquel. So we'll try that. So she said paper in the water. We get to hang it up and take some pictures. Well, okay. you put the coloring, the dye, the the color in the in the water, like you did with the milk. Okay. And then you take a piece of uh, of Q-tip. Yeah. And you swirl it around, making the design, and then you. I'm, eat, I'm not eating. That. I'm not eating this. And take it out, and it comes out with the colors and the design. Okay. Oh, like a print. Okay, we'll try it. Excellent idea. Yeah, I like to do. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Miss Latanya, you have a Let it dry. Yes. Um, mine is called cornstarch goo. Oh. Cornstarch goo. Now, this is stuff you say we can put down the sink, right? No, you cannot. Oh. No. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, no putting no. it down the sink. Okay. Do not put this down the sink. <laughs> okay, Mr. Please. Tell us what you got, Mr. Tate. All right, so this is cornstarch. You can buy any cornstarch from Walmart, but it has to be pure, complete cornstarch. I tried to use a mixture, but that did not work. So, Bella, please. Let it go, let it go, please. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have my bowl and my spoon. I'm gonna put a few scoops. All you need is a, 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 a plastic bowl, a spoon, and a cup of water and some corn sauce. So I'm just putting about three or four scoops. And I'll do five, why not? And I'm gonna close my corn sauce and I want another uh, accident. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a little cup of water. I'm going to pour a little bit in at a time. And as I pour it in, I want to make sure it. Can you guys see that? Make sure it's stirred up. See, so it's, it's, it's only cornstarch and water. That's it? Two things? Yep, just cornstarch and water. I'm going to have to pour some more water in there. Cool. Because... Are you going to eat that? Ew, no. <laughs> Ew, so I know they have people that do eat this. Mm -hmm. Is it really? Yeah, they do. I don't I don't know why. I think you gotta fry it first though, right? You can't just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll eat it like they'll eat it like this. Like Oh really? Okay, yeah, wow. That's like a cereal. So, huh? Look, I would so, so is it and the thing is it'll get hard as a brick in your stomach, because as you can see the way I'm I'm having a hard time pulling it up. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is my cornstarch goop, and I want to try to see if I can fall, see how it's getting. Oop, you guys can see. Can you guys see my hand? It's getting, oh yeah. Yeah, it's okay. getting really, really hard, and it'll, so it'll, it can form into a. Let me see. Okay, there you go. See, it can form into a ball. Okay. Well, fine. But it's not you, know, you might have put too much water in. That's all right. So that's why it's yeah. what happened was she put a little bit too much water in and it's not staying like it should though, y'all. Yeah, it's not really. Okay, so that's the orange shot. And we do not put this down the sink, y'all. No. What happens if you want to put a food color in it? Can you put some food color in it? You can put some uh, Oh yeah, of course. I have food coloring. Hold on one second. It's gonna change color you think or what? I will hope so. <laughs> I got to put my food color back in my box for another project. I'm going to put it back in the box. I'm going to take my green, put my green back in the box. Next one is my blue. Take my blue, we'll put it back in the box later. And my last one is my yellow. Yellow, yellow. 
the yellow bag in the box and close it. And that's important experiments, y'all. Whenever you finish your experiment, all the ingredients and stuff you use, you want to put everything back. Because if not, you might lose it for the next time and we won't have it. That's why when right. Linus finishes her project, all right, Mr. Tate has hers. So yeah, I have all uh, my blue, blue coloring. Okay. Don't worry. Hey, try to use the top of the spoon. The top of the spoon. Yeah. No, 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 not that side. Okay, go ahead. You got it. Oh, that's fine. fine. Just mix it up. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think we're gonna use that full uh, coloring like no more. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Yeah. So it's it's turning blue. You're making it turn blue, huh? Okay. Well, see, I can't get all the way to the bottom because it's like it's really it's hard. Hard, already. Really hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. It's hard. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Tay. Excellent project, Mr. Tay. We appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, it's fun for kids. I got it all in my hands. <laughs> I see that. I see that. Okay. All right, Michelle. You got a last project for the day, Michelle? All right. So the last project is a water bottle. Okay. Some hot water. Let me try. Oh Let me turn the camera so y'all can see. Now, Ms. Lemisha, you talking about hot water from the tap? We gotta put it, we gotta boil the water in a pan. Well, I what I did was I took the water and I placed it inside of this white bowl and I put it in the microwave on okay. 200. 200. Once I put it on 200, the water became really, really hot. Okay. So this is my hot water right here. And okay, I have gotta, another bowl of you ice. You do this with a parent, huh? You, do, you can't do this by yourself. Yes, it's please better. do this with a parent. You cannot you do this do by yourself. Parent, sure okay, uh, Michelle, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Uh, That's okay. The con the cornstarch, you guys can actually use it for kids. Like, if they have any bumps on their face that you want to go away, you can use pure cornstarch and put it inside a sock, a clean sock, and... Dabbing on the face and they're all bumps to go away. Oh, yeah, oh wow. Thank you for that. Yeah, it's good for little kids. kids. My mom is using it for older kids. Oh, and diaper rash, too, huh? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's, that's the best thing for diaper rash. Yeah. Hello, good. How you doing, Lord? Good morning, Miss Renata. Well. Yeah, big money Logan in the building. All right. We're going up there. Yeah. Michelle doing her project. She, so Michelle, she has a bowl of hot water. She put it in the microwave, and now she has a, a bowl of ice. So what are we gonna do? Yes. Now? Watch out, baby. Right can't see. This is my cold water. So what I'm going to do? Hey, is put the cat down. I'm going to place my balloon on the top of my water bottle, so it can look like this. Okay. And then I'm going to place the water, the empty water bottle. It has okay. to be empty in order to do it. I'm going to place it inside of the cold ice. Can I get and some air from? The balloon is going to rise up. I have some. Do you see hey, air getting in the balloon? Do you see the air getting in the balloon? Okay. I'm getting in the bed. No air is getting That's inside of the balloon. No, my, my okay. mom is going to. Now I'm going to take the balloon and the water bottle and place it inside of the hot water. And see how it rises oh, up. There you go. Oh, that's a great. Oh, okay, you'll be right back. See how, wow. The air is so filled up. The balloon, the hot water filled up the balloon. Hello. Okay. See how that goes. I love it. I love my t-shirt. And then once I take yeah. it out, it goes back into the cold water. Uh -huh. It goes down again, see? I see. I see. Really? When I place it in the cold water, it goes back down. Okay. Now, why does it rise in the hot water and why does it go down in the cold water? Because the cold water isn't giving it any air and the hot water is giving Mike, it air. Mike, you like it? Okay. The hot water makes the air expand, y'all. Yes, the hot water makes the air expand. Look, the uh, cold water makes the air contract. Excuse me, move your foot. Excuse me. Low enough, low enough, low enough. I'll put water in Makes it expand and makes it contract, y'all. Good job. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay. 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 And so let's check on the pennies. No, I don't. I have to check them back Monday. I see it changing just a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, so you took two pennies. Well, they were brown, and you were bright brown. And the vinegar, vinegar yes. is going to make the pennies turn uh, green, huh? Yeah, so we use white vinegar, we place it inside of the bowl. Okay. And you yeah, see it's changing. <laughs> you see it changing a little bit, but not a lot. Not so we're going to okay. check back Monday and see Monday if it's, uh, if it's green. 
Okay, so you're going to leave it over the weekend? Play Yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave the bowl here you. over the weekend. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Michelle. We appreciate that. You're welcome. What's going on, Logan? How you been, buddy? Hey. Hi, hey, Logan. Logan. Hey, talk to them. Hi. Hey, you want to go to the house? You want to come back to school? <laughs> I that dog on cake off your nose. <laughs> right, huh? That's all good, mama. That's good, though, y'all. All right, y'all. Definitely, definitely, y'all. Okay. So what's that called, Miss Raquel? We're going to finish up with you today, Miss Raquel. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on an airplane, y'all, and we're going to go around the world and say hi in different languages. Because I know in Spanish, when you say hi, it's like, hola. hola. Let's see, Miss Raquel. Hola. Here's our, uh, if we get on the airplane, y'all, and go around and say hi in different languages, y'all. Okie dokie. Today, okay. we're going to get on a plane, and we're going to Japan. So everybody get on the plane. Our friends in Japan, our friends in Japan are waiting for us. And we're saying, Konnichiwa. 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 Okay, cool. Now we're going Konnichiwa. to meet our friends in Mexico. Hello, Logan. Mexico. Oh, yeah. How do we say hello to our friends in Mexico? Hola. Hola. Hola, amigos. Hola. And now we're going we're here, to Bella. India. And how do we say hello in in when we go to India? Namaste. 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 What's up, Aiden? So now we're getting on the plane again. Okay. And where should we go now? We're going to go to China. 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 Oh, we're going to visit our friends in China. And they're going to take us to a great big wall called the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall So we're wall going of China. to say, Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Good. And now we are going to Saudi Arabia. Arabic. And our oh, friends this, in Saudi Arabia are saying, Hello, we're going to Hello. Hello. did that. And now we're going Where are we going? For the Africa. Y'all were going to That's turn right. Where Ms. Nargis is from. Where Ms. Nargis is from. And how do we say hello? Yambo. 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 Yeah. And now we're getting on the plane again and we're coming home. Coming home. And then when we get to the airport, our family say hello. 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 Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, y'all. guys. Thank you. Excellent job. Okay. So next week, uh, Tanika and Logan, what kind of projects y'all want to do? You have any kind of idea what kind of projects y'all want to do next week? What you want to learn about, buddy? What you want to learn about? Well, y'all want to do some race cars? Maybe some, we did dinosaurs and dragons this week. You want to do about uh, race cars? You do race cars? Race okay. cars, that's going to be cool. That's going to be really cool. I know Ooh, a race, race, race car too. project, yeah. Yeah, okay, good job. So we'll do some race cars. We'll do something about wheels, and we'll do something about motion, and we'll try to figure out something about race what about you, Miss Tanika? What you want to learn about next week, Tanika? You want to do pandas? Tanika like Ooh, animals. Oh yeah! Ooh, I love pandas. Okay, me too. So you got race cars and pandas next week, okay, y'all? So That's maybe cool. Shape. I think these experiments are working excellent. So let's keep the experiments up. Maybe one every Friday. Day. Yeah, yeah. I think it's one a day, or maybe, and then two on Friday. Or, or if we need to do more of them throughout the week, that's good. But I think these experiments are doing excellent. Everybody's really enjoying the experiments, yo. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say on next week we're gonna do three things, y'all. We'll do some more gardening. We'll, we'll do some more gardening, and we'll make some bird feeders next week, y'all. I'll show you how to make oh. a bird feeder. And the second thing we're gonna do is uh, Logan by Logan's request, and we're gonna do a. Uh, Race cars. Race cars. We're talk about motion. We're gonna talk about wheels and what makes race cars go fast. I'm a race car. And you want race car is uh uh. I'm a race car. We're learn about pandas. So we're we'll we'll learn about pandas. I'll get some. I'm in here. Later, you know, and we'll see what pandas eat. So we'll do different things like that. Okay. Okay. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, Miss A. Hey, hey, Logan, did you get back the toys Miss uh, your auntie gave you? Mama. What was it? Did she give you a bad smile back the toys? 
Okay. No, I've been at work today, my first day off, so I don't know if she got it or not. It might have been a long time ago. I think it was like last week or maybe two weeks ago. I dropped we probably off. did get it already. Okay. But, that's, that's, um, I appreciate that's that. That's why I was able to log on today. I'm off today. Okay, that's good. How's Trinise doing? Trinise, everybody doing all right? Yeah, she right there, Trinise. Trinise, yeah, hey, she was to come to our school with you, baby. You ain't here, you ain't here, um, Carter. Carter, say, I want to learn about race cars, too. Hey, hey Carter. What's up, Carter? You're being quick, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. From Carter, huh? Carter and Carson. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Don, that, that's, uh, what's that called? Donovan in the back? Who that is? Terry. I mean, that's, uh, Adrian. Adrian, big Adrian. I see Carson. They ain't no <laughs> Man, man, they strong. They strong. Oh, like wow, they they strong, man. So they strong, mama. Yeah. Okay, Landon right here. Hi, Landon. Landon. Yeah, they see you in a while, buddy. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Well, I'm telling you, I see kids, Renato. blessings right there, Miss Renato. These children be up at 7 o'clock in the morning playing out. We got class at 10 o'clock. So I'm going to tell you info to Trinise so Trinise can show the kids, okay? All right. Thank you, Ms. Renata. See y'all later. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye, See you later. Bye. Guys. Have a good weekend. See y'all later. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye Bella. guys. Bye, Ms. Latera. Bye, Bella. Bye, Ms. Renata. Bye, Ms. Renata. Tanika. Bye, Tanika. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, Bella, Bella. Bye, Bella, 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 Bella. <laughs> Love you, Bella. Love you, Bella. Bye. Okay. Mm. bye. All right, bye, Mr. Tate. Right. Nigga, what you doing over there, man? I want to see a project. What you doing, Tanika? Tell me about it. Making a reef. How you make a reef? I'm doing this. Okay. What I'm thinking, Tanika, is I'm thinking next week, man, I think you and your mama can do one project for us. You want to do a project with your mama and show everybody? Because you are yes. so... All right, but you got to talk to ask your mom permission first, okay? Be like, Mama, Mr. Z says, because I'm so creative and I'm doing so many good projects by myself, I want to show a project that I can show my friends. So ask your mama first, okay? And then I, if she says it's okay, okay. Then, 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 then you all set up a nice little project. Because you so creative, Tanika. That's one thing I love about you. How you always doing stuff. Wow. Is that glue? That's glue? You using glue by yourself? Okay. Okay. All right, Nika. I love you. I'll see you, see you on Monday, okay? All right. Bye, superstar. Bye.